Hi, I'm Alex from Ratings.com. Today, we'll be doing a review of the TCL 4 Series S446-2021. We'll be evaluating it on our standardized test bench to see how it performs and if you should buy it. We bought and tested the 65-inch model, which has an IPS panel. The 50 and 85-inch models have VA panels, so we expect them to have better contrast and worse viewing angles. There's also a 43, 55, and 75-inch model, but TCL doesn't advertise the panel type, so it's possible they'll perform differently than our unit. This TV is in the same lineup as the TCL 4 Series S434, Android 2020, and TCL 4 Series 2020, but they have decided to upgrade to the newer Google TV. The TCL 4 Series S446 2021 has a pretty standard design, so there isn't too much to talk about. The stand has only one position, and it's tall enough that you can fit a soundbar underneath without it obstructing the display. The inputs are directed at the side, which makes them convenient to access if the TV is placed close to a wall. The three HDMI 2.0 ports allow you to connect a variety of devices. One of the ports also supports eARC, or Enhanced Audio Return Channel, that you can connect to your receiver or soundbar to play sound from the TV through your external speakers. The back of the TV fits the vase mount standard, so you can wall mount it for a cleaner look, and it has a pretty typical thickness, so it will stick out a bit. The build quality of the TV is decent overall. It's made of plastic with some metal on the back panel. The TV wobbles back and forth on the stand when placing it, and there is some flex on the back, but once you've set it where you want it, it'll be fine. Now, onto our test results, and we'll start with the contrast. A high contrast ratio results in deep, dark scenes, which is good if you want to watch movies in a dark room, like a home theater environment. This TV has an IPS panel, which aren't exactly known for their high contrast. The TCL 4 Series S446 2021 performs as expected and has an OK contrast. It also doesn't have a local dimming feature to improve the contrast at all, so you won't be getting deep inky blacks on this TV. If you want to use the TV in a bright room, then a high peak brightness is important to overcome glare. Unfortunately, the TCL 4 Series S446 2021 doesn't cut it. It doesn't get very bright at all. If you're in a dark room, you might not be too bothered by it for regular SDR viewing. If you're in a bright space or watching HDR content, it'll be hard to see the image clearly, and the impact of a crisp, bright HDR image won't be there. Also important for a bright room is good reflection handling. You can see that this TV handles reflections pretty well, but the intensity isn't significantly reduced, and the brightness won't be enough to offset some of the reflections, so it isn't the best choice for a room with lots of light, or you'll end up struggling to see dark scenes. If you've got a wide seating arrangement or like to watch TV with family and friends, then good viewing angles helps to ensure no one's left with washed out colors or crushed details. Due to the IPS panel on this TCL, the image quality isn't too bad when going off angle. At more extreme angles, you'll notice some color washout and brightness loss, but it's pretty good overall. Obviously, it's best viewed from straight on though. An overall uniform screen brightness and color is important when watching sports or playing video games to avoid the appearance of clouding known as the dirty screen effect. This does vary between units, but we expect the TCL 4 Series S446 2021 we bought to be about typical for the 65 inch model. It's decent overall, but the corners are noticeably darker. In really dark scenes, the black uniformity is noticeably bad, so you might see glowing spots in the corners of the screens and just an overall blotchy image. A TV that has good colors can help to make an image pop and look vibrant. In the case of the 4 Series S446 2021, the TV is unlikely to impress. It doesn't have a wide color gamut, so it won't be ideal for any content with really vibrant colors. It doesn't get dark enough in each of the colors to really make an impact, especially for HDR content. Some TVs struggle to display smooth gradients, so when watching a movie with a sunset, some banding can be visible. In the case of this TV, its gradient processing is only okay. Depending on the scene, you might see some banding, particularly in the grays, reds, and greens. There is a feature called Gradation Clear that does help to reduce the banding, but it does cause the loss of fine details and higher quality content. When playing video games, a fast response time is important for the clearest image without distracting blur. The TCL 4 Series S446 2021 has an alright response time overall, but some blur or smearing may be noticeable in dark scenes. While this TV does flicker, it only does so below 28 brightness, which frankly is way too low to be properly usable on this TV. A low input lag is also important for a responsive feel when playing video games, and thankfully, this TV is great in this regard. Like the vast majority of modern TVs, there isn't anything to worry about with regards to the input lag. It only has a 60 Hz panel though, so for extremely smooth and responsive higher refresh rate gaming, it isn't a good choice. 
Speaking of gaming, this TV supports all of the common signals up to 60 Hz, which is fine for casual gamers, but for a more responsive experience with a new Xbox or PS5, it isn't the best choice. It also does not support VRR of any kind, so you might see some tearing when connected to a powerful PC. This TV uses Google TV as a smart platform. Like Android TV, it's very simple, easy to use, and feels very smooth to navigate. The upgrade to Google TV is to thank for the added smoothness, and there's even a few extra features thrown in, like an ambient mode to display some art or your Google Photos, similar to the Samsung The Frame 2021 TV. There's also a basic mode that removes the smart feature so you can just focus on using the antenna and inputs, which can be useful if you want to dumb down your TV. The sound of this TV isn't very good. Good sound doesn't tend to be much of a focus, so if this is something you care about, then an external soundbar or speakers is the way to go. So this brings us to the main question. Should you buy this TV? Well, it depends. It's not a great TV, but it is an entry-level 4K TV, and for that level, it's pretty standard. You get proper 444 chroma subsampling, a motion interpolation feature, and a jitter-free experience. It's not perfect, but if you're looking for a cheaper TV for a dark space, it'll work. If contrast is more important, you can either change sizes and go for the 50 or 85 inch model, or the TCL 4 Series 2020 for a VA panel that we've reviewed. If you can find a deal on last year's TCL 5 Series, like the TCL S535 2020 QLED, you'll find a much better TV overall. If you want to spend a bit more for a better TV, you could splurge a bit on the Hisense U6G. It has a VA panel, but overall it's brighter, more vibrant, and will look significantly better when watching any content.